Hello everyone, my name is Boris Cabrera and in this video we will be talking about air pollution and how it is influencing our lives and talk about ways to help improve the environment around us. Our environment plays a crucial role in our health and well-being, but it is facing numerous challenges, including air quality issues. The air we breathe affects our daily lives and the health of future generations to come. I think we must look to fight to improve our way of living and look to help the environment we live in. Because if not, then we will be looking at a future of masks when we go outside and those of us who will stay inside solely because of the harm going outside might cause. The sources of air pollution are numerous and varied, including industries, transportation, and household activities. These activities emit harmful pollutants into the air, affecting air quality. Some of these things are out of our control, but then there are those that we can look to stop and make sure we are doing our part in helping. To prevent air pollution, we must reduce our dependence on fossil fuels and shift towards cleaner energy sources. We can also take individual steps such as carpooling, using public transportation, and reducing household energy consumption. We can also look into building more wind turbines as well as implementing solar panels into our homes to help and reduce the harm that is done to the air. These little things can play a huge part in everyone slowly cleaning up the air around us. The government plays a crucial part in protecting our air quality through various regulatory agencies such as the Environmental Protection Agency and the Department of Natural Resources. These agencies are responsible for setting standards for air quality and monitoring compliance. They play a huge role in trying to help clean up our air and making sure that we stay informed on what is going on. To ensure compliance, the regulatory agencies implement various measures such as permitting and inspections. Non-compliant entities may face penalties and fines, helping to ensure that we are work all working towards clean air. This plays a huge part in keeping people accountable for the air and making sure they are aware of the air quality around them. Data collected by county and state health departments provides crucial information on air quality levels, allowing us to monitor progress and identify areas in need of improvement. The data also helps us to understand the impacts of air pollution on public health. Having all this information is very important to ensure that we are attacking the right areas for improvement and looking to prevent future illnesses or diseases that can come from bad air quality. By working together, we can protect our environment and ensure that future generations have access to clean air. The longer we wait, the worse the air around us can get, and the more harm it does to not only us, but the earth we live on. Let's look to take action now to address air quality issues to ensure that our generations ahead